Thank you very much for the privilege of the podium. And we'd like to discuss our experience in multimodal management of distal rectal cancer in a comparison with the literature. I have nothing to disclose. As a background, adoption of minimal invasive surgery for management of distal rectal cancer has been slow to be adopted. This is in part two, the difficulties of uh, this technically, uh, performing it and performing it well. In review of the literature, which I'm sure many of you are aware of well, uh, the conversion rate to open from laparoscopy remains high. Circumferential resection margin positivity rate is also high, ranging from 3 to 20 percent. And incomplete TME rates are also high, ranging up to 10 percent. Throwing the robot into the mix doesn't seem to help the conversion rate from, from robot to open, but that's still remaining around 10 percent. So putting all this together, basically come to one conclusion that I'm sure all of you are aware of as well, and that is that rect distal rectal cancer surgery is difficult. But that's a background, and so we'd like to present the results of a, uh, the study we performed looking at TA TME after neoadjuvant therapy for distal third rectal cancers. Our hypothesis is that TA TME after neoadjuvant therapy lowers conversion rates, positive margin rates, and improves TME completeness compared to historical norms. The way we studied this was we queried a prospectively maintained rectal cancer database for radical laparoscopic resections after new adjuvant therapy over a four and a half year period. We identified 230 patients who underwent MIS resection, 57 consecutive patients with distal three centimeter rectal cancers that had TA TME were identified, 50 of those patients underwent a TA TA and seven had an APR. All patients received new adjuvant chemoradiation in order to be included in this study, and then patients were analyzed for demographic data, preoperative, operative, postoperative, and pathologic outcomes. This is our, this is our uh, treatment algorithm for rectal cancers, where all unfavorable tumors and those in the distal third of the rectum are treated with a new adjuvant chemoradiation with an optimal dose of 5580 centigrade and concurrent 5-FU, either infusional or oral, followed by a waiting period of 8 to 12 weeks and reassessment, at which time all patients are, are offered uh, sphincter-preserving surgery, except those that, are, uh, that have a tumor that's fixed in the distal 3 centimeters of the rectum. The technique starts with an initial dissection transanally as a ta-ta up to the level of the seminal vesicles or cervix. The distal rectum is then oversewn directly to make a watertight seal, followed by placement of a transanal port, and the section is then carried out cephalad to the level of the peritoneum at least. So results, looking at the results, 70% of the patients in the study were males, which bodes to a more difficult uh, dissection in the pelvis, and the average age was 59.6 years. The patients were, were, uh, were on the higher side of BMI, uh, with 28% uh, of patients having a BMI over 30. The ASA class is shown and there was no difference in the, between the groups. The distance from the interrectal ring was on average one centimeter. It doesn't surprise uh, anyone that the, the, the distance is lower uh, for patients that needed and required an APR. Looking at the clinical stage of the tumors, uh, it's not surprising to see that the tumors that required an APR were of a more advanced stage, and that was, that was significant. The average radiation dose for the patients in this study was 5355 centigrade, and all patients received oral or infusional 5-FU. Patients treated at our institution received 5580 centigrade, but not all patients in this study were treated with, at our institution. They were then reassessed 8 to 12 weeks for, uh, for tumor response. So the post-radiation assessment of the tumor is shown, and you can see an excellent downstaging of the tumors. So how do we do? Intraoperatively, the EBL was on average at 219 cc's, and there were no transfusions needed. We had no conversion, so it was a 0% conversion rate. And the total incisions averaged one. Typically, the abdominal portion of the case is managed through a, a single incision port that's placed at the, at the site of the temporary stoma. We had no perioperative mortality, 
a 3.5% intraoperative morbidity. We had no urethral injuries and no ureteral injuries. The overall morbidity rate was 18%, and the morbidities specifically are listed. They were all from the Tata group. Postoperatively, patients were fed either day, the day of or the day after surgery, and their diets were advanced as tolerated. The average length of stay was five days. Pathologic evaluation of the tumors showed an excellent downgrading uh, with a 28% complete response rate. The total mesorectal excision completeness rate was 98.3%. It's important to note that the one patient that had an incomplete TME had a tumor that was large, necrotic, and basically fell apart while it was being dissected. That patient had a complete response. The, the, the circumferential uh, resection margin positivity rate was zero, and we had no positive distal margins either. Onco oncologic outcomes with a 17.1 month follow up showed a local recurrence rate of 1.9%, and the survival is currently 100%, which is limited, of course, to the short follow up of the study and will likely follow up with time. So coming back to the hypothesis originally, we had zero conversions, no positive resection margins, and our TME completeness rate was 98%, which compares uh, well with historical norms. So in conclusion, the TA TME is safe and effective. We believe the standardization of this technique and experience will help overcome the difficulties of rectal cancer surgery and the TA TME itself and that it holds promise to improve upon challenges encountered with MIS surgery in the, rectum, in the rectum. Of course, additional trials are needed, as this is a limited study due to it's a single surgeon's experience and having limited follow-up. But it's our strong opinion that ta TME approaches to rectal cancer will, in fact, expand as morbidity is acceptably low, and additional trials are currently underway. Thank you.